Now, I know that I've done several videos on Ripple and XRP recently and how the SEC and this lawsuit going on between them and Ripple is kind of subduing the price, artificially keeping it low while this lawsuit and this judgment is, is fought and rendered. Now, guys, we need to remember that Ripple and XRP, it is much different than any of the other cryptocurrencies that we know and, and believe in out there. And I want to go over some of those differences in this video and point out that yes, Ripple is centralized. It is not decentralized. It is controlled by Ripple. But this business that is being run right now, it is not slowing down because of the lawsuit. And Ripple is absolutely making ripples yes waves when it comes to international finance and, and this could really pay off in the long term so let's discuss it if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. And $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can buy Ripple, you've got KuCoin in the description, and they offer rewards for the more active traders. So if you guys are looking to get into that, um, and you're an active trader, you can absolutely earn a lot of rewards on there and get your hands on some Ripple. International Binance also down in the description, and they allow you to buy Ripple as well, or XRP as well, if you guys are international users. But I want to jump into this, and, and I, I got a couple articles pulled up here that I want to go through, because we need to realize... That just because this lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple is going on, it doesn't mean that Ripple is not doing business. It does not mean that Ripple is not growing, and, and XRP could absolutely have a just a fantastic future after this lawsuit is settled and won by Ripple XRP, guys. Yes, we are. We're rooting for Ripple in this one, even though hey. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and deny that the SEC doesn't have a good case. You know, we're looking at a company, we're looking at an ICO, we're looking at a lot of money here. Of course, that is money that the SEC wants, not necessarily any other reason other than that. So, knowing that what is Ripple? Guys, Ripple is a company. It is a centralized uh company that is ran just like any other company and XRP. XRP is what is in question here. Now, XRP went through an ICO. The money raised from the ICO, it becomes muddy on, on what the expectations were for the sale of XRP. And that's what the whole suit boils down to. And we're not going to jump into that too much in this video. But basically, the SEC is saying the sale of XRP constituted the sale of security or the sale of an investment contract. Investors buy XRP, they pull their funds together, Ripple goes out there and performs business. This business increases the value of XRP, and therefore those that bought or the investors receive a return based on that. Ripple says, look, we sold this ICO, we sold XRP, we never promised anybody anything or any sort of a return. Who, who are we to say what people pay for the price of XRP and, and allow it to go up and down in value? Very interesting arguments going on on both sides here. But nonetheless, okay, we have massive growth going on by Ripple despite all of this. And I want to talk a little bit about some of the banks that Ripple is partnered with. Now, if you guys don't know what Ripple does, they basically, it, it, it's just... It, Simplest form, make international transactions faster, cheaper, and more secure. So Ripple is basically, think about them as, a, as an international finance company or, or somewhat of a bank, right? And instead of transacting, if, if you wanted to send money, if you're a bank and you want to send money from the United States over to London, Instead of going the old route and it taking a couple days for this transaction to take place and, and all of these wire transfers and so on, you could use Ripple services. And the transaction that used to take days now takes minutes. It is much cheaper and much secure on top of that. So they have a revolutionary product or service in this financial or international finance industry right now that could really make waves. 
across the globe if it is adopted. Now, this is the other part, right? Are these banks, just so that they can... Look, banks are, are institutions as well. Banks are run for profit. But the question is, do these banks adopt Ripple and XRP so that they can increase their profits, or do they stay true to that fiat government-ran currency that, oh man, just what, a decade ago, bailed them out? Because they were too big to fail. Now, guys, I'm gonna go down through the line here. We got six top largest banks that are currently working and use it, working with and using Ripple's XRP as a part of their everyday international services. Names that you've probably heard of: PNC Bank, guys. PNC Bank is partnered with Ripple and uses Ripple's XRP services. Santander Bank, I know you guys have heard of them. Standard Charter Bank. Now, maybe you haven't heard of them uh, unless you are, of course, from the the London area or over. In Europe, but nonetheless, they've got their headquartered in London, England, and they've got a lot of financial services going on over in the European area. Uh, Kali, Colix, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this one. It is a Mexican bank, another one that is, is one of the largest banks in Mexico, Hong Kong, and the United States. We've also got this is another, this is a difficult one too. It's Scandinavian bank, uh, Scandinaviska is the name of this bank that is currently partnered with Ripple and Mitsubishi UFG. Guys, these are the six largest banks that are currently partnered with Ripple. And if you go through and just Google, uh, you know, Ripple expansion or, or new Ripple deals, you can see that Ripple and XRP is continuing to be adopted by major banks across the globe. Egyptian banks are starting to use Ripple and XRP services. You've got banks in Asia that are using Ripple and XRP services. This is, it's, let's just put it this way. It has the potential to interrupt a multi-trillion dollar industry. Financial services, yes, are, are very secure in their, in their thinking with the banking system and, and fiat. But if, if you can make a profit and you can improve it, and you can make it more secure and more efficient. The question is, why not? You will be leaps and bounds ahead of your competitor, and they know this. So guys, as, as more and more banks start to adopt Ripple XRP in this digital asset world that we will be living in one day, Ripple is increasing its profit potential, and, and it's just business, I guess, standards on a daily basis. It is currently being held down by the SEC. When this lawsuit gets settled, we could see some amazing gains in XRP, and Ripple could be a household name. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, did you know that Ripple was growing at the pace that it is despite everything going on in the lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple? Let us know down there. And, of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble. You're getting uh, Ripple on KuCoin and International Binance. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.